joy. Joy is defined as to experience great pleasure or delight, to rejoice, to gladden, to enjoy. Have you noticed that society doesn't invite joy? I don't know about you, but as a child, that was my natural inclination. I was filled with joy and delight and energy. And when I would be happy and I wanted to play, I was squashed down, hit down immediately. Don't do that. You have things to do. Why are you running around being happy, making so much noise? because that's what my heart wanted to do. That's why. So here's what I have noticed. That joy, as well as unhappiness and sadness, is a choice. Well, let me tell you what I'm learning. This is joy. <laughs> it is. And this is the definition of joy. When it gets knocked down, it comes right back up to the center. Well, yeah. I have a new teacher in my life. And this new teacher is a little black cat named Precious, because she is, whose delight in this world is to play with toys. I now have a house full of toys. And she has ants who send her toys. There's Debbie, there's Linda, there's Sarah, there's Freddie. They all send her toys. <laughs> and every time I say to her, because she's a rescue, Every time I say to her, sweetheart, don't be afraid. You're safe. All is well. I realize I'm talking to myself as well. Where is your safety? Where is your joy? Where has it been hiding? I'm not talking about being Pollyanna. Because one of the tenets of what I teach in my programs, in the Life Design Formula, is one, you accept exactly where you are. I don't care whether you like it or not. But the first key to transformation and change is accepting exactly where you are. And exactly where you are may be very scary. Exactly where you are may be so frightening. <laughs> that you don't know what to do with yourself. I'm there. Once again in my life, I am reinventing myself. Is it scary? Yes, it's scary. Does it make me want to run away and hide sometimes? Yes, yes. But I have things that make me happy. And I choose to focus on that. Because let me ask you this question. Have you been driving along or walking and suddenly realized that you're rehashing incidences from your past that made you miserable? Mm -hmm. I have. And I stop myself now and I say, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Who exactly is in charge of your mind, Miss Thing? Oh, yeah, I'm in charge of, okay, all right, I'm in charge of my mind. And that means I'm in charge of my thoughts. And that means I'm in charge of my attitude, which means I can choose unhappiness. And I can choose to walk down an old path that I know made me unhappy. Or I can choose to forge my way through a new path that has the possibility of making me happy. And while I'm doing it, that is allowing joy to arise.
So my new little teacher with all of her toys is helping me realize that it is a choice. No matter what I was taught in the past, my choice now is to be joyful. Let me tell you why. It's not fake. It's not fake. It's like connecting, hmm, connecting to source. It's connecting to all that is. It is connecting to your own sacredness, to your own divinity. Life itself is not sacred. What we do with our lives has the possibility of sacredness. And it matters very much what we choose. We can choose to be unhappy. I'm not talking about clinical depression, about hormones and, and illnesses. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking when we are in possession of how we think. We also can control how we think and choose. Just like the color you choose to wear today. You can choose the cloak of emotions into which you wrap yourself. I chose to be a colorful gypsy today. I'm going to teach my students. And I want them to have confidence and joy in themselves. And I want us to stop showing how valuable we are. We're not doing show and tell anymore. We're not little kids. Now we're sharing what we understand of life. We're sharing our experiences. We're sharing our gifts and our talents. And when we share our troubles, Usually they're halved with someone who understands, with someone who cares about you. And when you share your joy, a beautiful friend of mine, a oh, friend of my heart, went to a concert with another of my friends and she was so joyous when she came back that she was on fire with delight and she shared it with us and we were laughing and partaking of that same joy. So know that when you choose joy, one, you're in charge of your mind. You're allowing yourself to shift yourself energetically. And when you go out into the world, not just with your physical body, but with your energetic body, you are sending ripples of joy out into the world. So you realize you're transforming the world. My six word bio is changing myself to change the world. We're the only ones we're allowed to change. Personal sovereignty, spiritual sovereignty. I'm in charge of my thoughts. I'm in charge of how I live my life. And when things are at ground zero, like they are in my life right now, relationship, finances, career. I'm starting over because I'm looking at everything differently. I've come through a dangerous time into safety and into self-regard and self-respect and self-love. And I'm so at peace because I did what I, what my heart felt was right. And I'm at peace with that. That peacefulness also leads to joy. Allow this marvelous brain of ours to be the servant of your heart. I'm not saying don't be practical. I'm a very practical woman. That's accepting where I am right now. Do I like that? No. Does it make me uncomfortable? Yes, it does. But a new friend of mine told me, 
of this quote, and I'm going to quote it badly, forgive me, um, from the Marigold um, Hotel film about all is well, in the end, all is well. And if you're at the end, if you get to the end and all is not well, you're not at the end. So we're not. We go like this. We don't touch wood. There's still more to learn. There's still more to enjoy. And remember, that is a choice. So be like this marvelous little toy. And every time you get knocked down, you just come back to the center. So I invite you to come back to the center, no matter what's happening in your life. What gives you joy? Share that with me and share that with others because maybe you'll share something that someone hasn't thought of before. One of my solutions for joy is when I start to feel anxiety is rising and I'm starting to get scared, it happens all the time. I turn on music, I go outside and I dance. And the dancing and the rhythm and the music immediately changes how everything I look at has shifted. Wayne Dyer said, change the way you look at things and the things you look at change. What makes you happy? What brings you joy? Please share it because those who will read your comments may discover something that they haven't discovered before. Share your joy. It's my mission to share mine. Now I've shared the good times and the bad times. So I'm still walking one step in front of the other. And while you're here, and if you've enjoyed this, subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell. You'll know when I make a video. And love, money, horse manure. No good unless you spread it around. Spread the joy. All right, darlings. I hope that this has lifted your heart in some way because I feel so blessed. I feel such gratitude in my life for all the unfolding, for the unrolling of this magnificent carpet of my life. And I invite you to join me. Join me, celebrate yourself, and share with us what brings you joy. Okay? <laughs> it's Andrea Firestone, speaker, author, coach, saying I will see you later for sure, alligator. Bye-bye. Okay.